Imagine a fish so ancient, it's been cruising the Amazon since before humans ever told stories about monsters. Meet the Arapaima. In Brazil, they call it Pirarucu. In Peru, Paish. I call it the river's dinosaur. This giant can hit three meters, about 10 feet, and weigh more than 200 kilos, 440 pounds. That's a sofa-sized fish with armor-plated scales tough enough to shrug off piranhas. Here's the wild part. It hasn't changed much in over 23 million years. A living fossil from the Miocene, still doing its thing while empires rise and fall. How does it survive? It breathes air. An internal, lung-like swim bladder means it must surface every 10 to 20 minutes for a gulp. Miss that breath? and it can actually drown. That surface, whoosh! It's how river people find them at dawn. Hunting is pure efficiency. The Arapaima stalk snaps open its jaws, creates a vacuum, suction feeding that rockets prey straight in. Fish crustaceans. Even the odd, unlucky bird skimming the water. Family life? They carve a nest in the shallows when waters drop. The male guards the young. Fry cluster around his dark head like a living cloud, while the female patrols the perimeter. Ancient parenting still working. People have relied on Piraruku for centuries. Firm, low-bone fillets salted and dried like bacalao of the Amazon. Those scales, tough enough to use as nail files. But that popularity nearly wiped them out. Here's the hopeful twist. In Mamirawa, locals count breaths at sunrise, set strict quotas, and let populations rebound. When locals lead, giants return. So, next time you picture monster fish, remember, the Arapaima isn't a myth. It's a time traveler, older than cities, older than stories, surfacing with a gulp to remind us what endurance looks like. Ten feet of muscle, armor like a knight, a breath like a whispered secret on the river. And 23 million years of proof that perfection doesn't need an update. If that doesn't give you goosebumps, wait for the next breath.